This is Brad Garrett, Assistant Director with the USAA, and today we're going to talk about how to enter your varsity schedule into track wrestling. As you can see by the screenshot you're looking at, I have logged into my account and I have selected the schedule tab in the horizontal gray bar that runs across the screen. You should see an add event button and that is how we begin the process of starting to input our varsity schedule. So I'm going to add an event. The event type, they give you the options of single dual meet, dual tournament or multi-dual, and an individual tournament. So in this case, we're going to select dual tournament at the varsity level and hit the next button. The event name is going to be test Oregon High School Multi-Dual. It's in Oregon. We're going to have it on 12-15-2015 at 5 o'clock p.m. The host team is going to be Test Oregon High School. That's the account I'm in. And we're going to use the Federation Week classes. So this is a new event. I'm going to hit next and you can see it drops it right into my schedule. Now I entered that into my schedule page because I am hosting that event. Um, it is important that schools realize that you do not have to enter events that you are attending. The host school is responsible to enter those events and invite those schools that will be participating. As an example, in my multi-dual event that I am hosting, I'm going to click on the title. <clears throat> I'm going to go to Teams Length in the horizontal gray bar across the top, and I'm going to add a team. Now it's going to give you a selection. You can type the beginnings of any team name in there, and it's going to give you likely matches. So I have several accounts set up here, so I'm going to type Test and hit Next, and it's going to give me a series of schools that match or close to match that. So I am Test Oregon High School. I'm the host. I'm going to invite um, the Oregon Test High School. So just the opposite name. And I'm going to hit Next. And it's going to drop that into that dialog box that you're looking at as one of the invited teams in the gray bar, Oregon Test High School. So for our purposes now, I'm going to close this window. I have opened in another tab, Oregon Test High School. And as you can see, there's nothing on their schedule right now. But if I refresh this page and let it run, you can see now that in this schedule, the Test Oregon High School multi-dual showed up. And when that shows up on your side, this is no longer pending. I'm in this event, so I'm going to accept it, and I'm going to mark the level as varsity level. When I do those two things, that updates the database. It, it lets uh, the database know it's a varsity event and that I've accepted to be a participant in it. If we go back to where I started at the Test Oregon High School, um, you can now uh, go ahead and add another event. On any event that you are hosting, so I'm going to add an event. In this case, I'm going to add a single dual meet. It's going to be the varsity level. I'm going to hit next. Uh, that dual is going to play, take place on 12-27-2015 at 7 o'clock p.m. The location is home. I'm hosting that. You would never put an away location in there. We're going to use the Federation weight classes. The opposing team, my opponent, again, I can type anything in here. It's going to give me likely matches. So I'm going to type test in again because that's going to help me get to the screen. And again, I'm going to invite Oregon Test High School. So I invite Oregon Test High School and I press next. Now that's going to appear on my schedule, Oregon Test High School at Test Oregon High School. If I go back to the tab with Oregon Test High School and I hit F5 and refresh this page, again it's showing the example of how the system works. 
I hit close. Now you can see that that's appeared on the opponent's schedule. They would accept that event and they would, it's obviously marked at the varsity level. It's imperative that we keep these levels marked correctly. It's also imperative that we're not duplicating events. So that's a short version of how to enter your, mat, your varsity schedule for this year with a reminder, only enter events that you are hosting. It doesn't matter if it's at your school or hosting an event at a different facility. If you're responsible for um, securing the teams, operating the event, administrating the event, and you are the host, you're going to put that event in and you're going to add teams and it will appear on their schedule. Hopefully that helps you. Thanks and have a great day.